Welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my last video, I was beginning to address a recent comment on a previous video, this TTGO Wi-Fi switch, where I was running a Wi-Fi access point on the TTGO T display and it hosted a web page where you could click on links and it would change what was on the display. That commenter said, show how to do this on a T-Watch 2020, change background images and text. So I really spent this effort last week to display two different images and two different texts on the TTGO T-Watch. And I also explored some Bluetooth stuff in the second part of the video, which was actually worked out pretty cool. But I wound up realizing that the PictoBlocks interface wasn't working for me. And I was going to go through my friend Max Smoke's example here, where he talks you through, basically, it's the Batman dial example sketch that he's hacked into this full motion game now. And that's pretty cool. So you'll want to check it out. But I'm going to just break down the basis of what Max Smoke's saying about this C++ code for the TTGO T-Watch, and I'm not a C++ coder at all. So what I've done here is I've mashed up the Wi-Fi access point program and the Batman dial example for the TTGO T-Watch. So let me summarize what Max Smoke talked about in his video. If you look at the example sketch Batman dial in Arduino for the TTGO T-Watch, you'll see the void loop just has this call to LV Task Handler. So I've collapsed everything down. Here, this type def creates a structure that defines what time will look like. It'll have an hour attribute, a minute attribute, a second attribute, etc. They go on to refer to that structure as GData. I've declared a couple of images and I retained the Batman dial font that was defined here. So this LV task in void loop calls LV task that's created within void setup. So we continue void setup. You can see I put in my Wi-Fi access point stuff here. Here's some TT go T watch stuff. It's setting up the watch, lighting up the backlight. And then here it starts to define the styles for the font and what time will look like when it's on the screen, where it'll be displayed. Now here's where LV task begins. So everything within the brackets for LV task from here down to here is going to be executed repeatedly by this call to LV task from void loop. And all of this LV task definition is within void setup. So it's rather confusing, but that's what they're doing with the C++ stuff for the TTGO T-Watch. So I'm really going out on a limb, kind of mashing Arduino style code with C++ code in this same sketch. And I actually have Arduino code executing within the LV task definition. Here I go on to set up the web server. Then I get any client request from the web server. And then I evaluate whether the return from the web server is a get one or a get two and change the background image based on that. Now I left the display of the time in, but for some reason it doesn't come through, but we got this this far and I feel pretty good about it. I might circle back and play around with it some more. You're welcome to leave your comments uh, down below, but let's check it out. Okay. So it's just loading up now. You can see the uploads working away there. All right, the access point has started. The screen displays no data. And that's pretty much what we'd expect. Now I'm going to connect my Wi-Fi to TTGO WAP. You can see it's sending DHCP offers. Okay, so I'm connected to TTGO WAP now. So let's open that site. And that's 192.168.4.1. There we go. The web page opens up on my phone here. And so if I click here, it changes the image on the TTGO T-Watch. And I'm going to click on the other link. And it changes to the other image. So we've 
adapted Wi-Fi switch mashing Arduino code with C++ code in the TTGO T-Watch libraries. It doesn't display the clock, unfortunately. I left those bits in. The other bit that I took out, and I want to show you that, because I couldn't get the access point to stay lit. It would show up, and I could pick it, but I could never connect. And one of the things I did in the code there was I actually commented out this line where they reduce the speed of the CPU. So here they said set CPU frequency megahertz to 20 to reduce power consumption, but what that did is it disabled my wireless access point, so it stopped working. But here, with going full speed, you can see I can call the website, I can get the slash one or get the slash two and change the background image on the TTGO T-Watch over Wi-Fi. So I've adapted that Wi-Fi switch for the TTGO T-Display to Wi-Fi switch TTGO T-Watch. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much. Give this video a like. Click down below for the links in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click over here to check out the TTGO playlist. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.